Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Youth Edition. It's Thor Gunnarsson. It's the Bolton Wanderers on a quest for Champions League glory. Sit back, relax, get in your comfy chair, grab your favourite beverage, turn on that big screen TV, because here we go with the Youth Edition. Hello and welcome back to the Youth Edition Career Mode, FIFA 21, Bolton Wanderers, top of the table by seven points and we've just hit January. So those youth count reports will be uh, back in a day or two. Uh, we've got some games, one of those is the FA Cup, I am not, didn't really look at the other fixtures but player upgrades are done, uh, the transfer window is open, I am going to try and offload a couple of players, we'll see if we get any offers in. Uh, Zelensky won in the firing line there, but uh, let's jump into this episode because hopefully we bring back some youth talent. Let's get into it. So the first game of today's episode, it is the FA Cup. I believe it's the third round. We're taking on a Rotherham at United at home. And uh, we've made some rotations to the squad. Menendez, the only one holding his spot, along with Lizarrazo. Vizegas, 50-50 for me. We've got some right backs coming through the academy. We'll have to see how that pans out. Farkas is going to start in the midfield, but I might look to loan him out as Kasuni is coming back from injury. And uh, I'm trying to keep the squad, you know, Quite small so that everyone gets the playing time and gets the growth. Uh, Al Lu will lead the front line. Suck Young in at left back in place of uh, Bergman. And uh, Naxma gets left out in this one. He will start on the bench. Let's get into this game and see if we can push through here in the FA Cup. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. FA Cup. Al Lu loves a cup competition and he's up top today. 22 goals of the season for him. We'll be looking to add on to that here against Rotherham United. Marcus tries to play one through to Al Lou. This should be a tough competitive game because uh, I'm sure Rotherham are in a higher league. Plays it off for Gruber. To Farkas. Out wide, Evans drives his way into the hole. Evans! Good work there from the goalkeeper. A corner here for Bolton. Al Lou. Farkas. Al Lou! Oh, that is brilliant! A quick one too, and Al Lou has a goal. 23 goals for the season. We said in the opener that he loves a cup competition. Well, that was a blistering strike from Al Lu. Dumplings all round in Bolton tonight. If we get the victory, Mendes to Lu feeds it down. Farkas back inside, and bloody hell, Lu has absolutely destroyed that ball through the legs of the defender, done the keeper in, and it's 1 0 Bolton. Farkas to Lou. Gruber back to Farkas. Back to Gruber. Fires it off here for Demi. He pushes inside. Farkas. A little bit of trickery. Brings it inside. Evans tries to barge his way through. Can't get through Hardy. Oh, good save from Jones. Well, it's going to be the number one, you'd think, if uh, Zielinski does get sold. And another good save from Jones. We'll try and come in again. Sakyan gets turned, and everyone just got out of the way. Rather than find the equaliser, I'm really disturbed by the uh, the centre backs that just seem to part seas when you do get an opportunity here. Take a look at the replay. Menendez and Murphy just sort of backed out of the the action here. Sakyan. Murphy pulls away. It's not good enough. Run at your man, boys. 1-1. One, one. Demi, Gruber. Now low. Farkas through the guts. Still runs, Farkas. That one's picked out. Matok. Well, there is the halftime whistle. We let Rotherham back in. It's been a tight contested game. It's 1-1. One, one. But from Menendez, Rottenberg gets it out here. Farkas out wide. Evans has to hold up the play. Sick Young. Rottenberg. Lays it forward. Here's Al Lu. Then lays it through here. Gruber. Oh, no, he's just been chopped down. Oh, that one's played through. Jones off his line. Good to see. Menendez gets in. Farkas clears it away. And here is Rottenberg. He just pushes his way through the middle. Doesn't have much of a tank. Plays it back now. Farkas. Finds Gruber, off to Lou, back to Rottenberg. He'll lay this one off, Gruber needs to slip it off. He's got Demi. Oh, good save, get in there, boys. Oh, Jones didn't know whether he should come off his line or not. Rotherham gets the lead, it's 2-1. They've had so much possession, so much of the play, and they're looking like the better team here at the moment. 
And that makes it 2-1. Just see here, our defence sort of was positioned well, but Sak Young didn't mark that runner coming through. Jones didn't come off his line quick enough. There we go, 2-1. Right, Schultz checking in for Farkas. He'll go up top. Lou into the centre midfield. Need a goal. Need to get back into this one. From Lizarraza. Ruba pushes forward on the run. Demi here out wide. Demi pushes forward. Chips over the top. No, it gets intercepted. Come on. Well, there is 3 1. We pressed. We tried. And it wasn't good enough. Rotherham United makes it 3-1. And it's probably going to see us here out of the FA Cup. We just have not been ignited enough here today. Murphy with a ball back inside to no one in particular. And oh, that just left the door straight open. 3-1. Oh, Rottenberg's missed the challenge. Jones makes the save. But this one is over. Absolutely done and dusted. And we are out of the FA Cup. A 3-1 defeat to Rotherham United. Well, eight shots to five. They had possession. We just could not get our game going. Lou with a 7.3. Right, the Youth Academy reports are back, so it's time to take a look at how our academy is looking. And uh, some of the potentials have changed here going into January. Alfie Hull now is an 88 to 94 potential, 57 overall. I'm going to leave him here in the academy. He's already grown by two. But if uh, Zielinski or Jones do leave us here in uh January, then this man will definitely be getting a call up. Now, Resnick, uh, probably not going to be good enough for us, even though he's 75 to 93. I might leave him here because you never know. If he grows quickly enough, we might be able to cash in on a Thomas Resnick. Now, we've got three right backs here Petko Nikolov from Bulgaria. He's gone up two, but that uh, potential is 79 to 85 now. And probably dropped away. I've got three right backs here. And he's probably one that I'm not 100% sure about. We've got Mason Scott, who's already 18 years of age, 54 overall, 76 to 90. Um, I mean, the pick of the crop is definitely Duke Knight. 82 to 92 potential, 53 overall, but only 15. So we can't come in just yet. So uh, we will hold these two for now. If we do get rid of Bezaga, we may need to bring one in as a bit of a backup. Andre Tanaka, 92 to 94 still. Uh, can't wait for this lad to turn 16. Hopefully uh, he is a dominating force in that midfield. Mohamed Diallo, 15, 80 to 86. I just can't see this lad breaking through and I actually am going to release him, free up a spot in the academy. Julius Torre, the Hungarian Cam, 69 to 87. That's still very much uh, an, an interesting player. We'll have to see what happens there. Uh, Andre Grosden, 74 to 82. He's dropped right away, and uh, I'm, I'm going to get rid of him as well. Now, we've got a new player here in Liam Decker from the Netherlands, 68 to 94. So, um, hopefully, that closes into something decent. Um, he's got good agility there at 85 and some decent pace. So, we'll see how he develops over the next uh, few months, but 17, so we may ask for a call up soon. Uh, Farzad Ivanov from Tajikistan, 74 to 82. He's gone up to, I don't think this lad's going to really provide us with much. Um, at 17, he's just not going to grow as quick as we probably need, especially the fact that that potential has dropped away and uh, I am going to release him. The last one is Jasper Koenig uh, from the Netherlands, 15 years of age, 74 to 92, uh, back to 52. So uh, his... Overall is is popping around a little bit, so uh, we'll leave him there in the academy. So, I mean, if we do sell a goalkeeper, Hull comes in. If we sell Vizaga, a right back comes in. And um, still probably looking for another backup striker. We'll have to wait and see how January pans out. Right, and it is time to send the scouts out once again. So leave me some new comments down below with new countries that you would like to see us visit and thumbs up on the ones that you would like because generally the top ones get picked. Now, Diogo Neves, he is off to Argentina for Technically Gifted. Thank you to Tomasi. Uh, 100 thumbs up on this one uh, in honour of Diego Maradona. That's a fair shout. Let's see if we can get, you know, a good Technically Gifted uh, sort of a cam style player maybe in the fold of, of Maradona that would be tremendous Zanotti is off to India thank you to Yuv Yuvraj um, 23 thumbs up he wants a striker now uh, physically strong wingers attackers uh, can all bring back strikers we're going to go for any and we'll see what we get back 
and Leroy Jenkins is out in North Macedonia. Now, uh, Sam asked to go to Macedonia for any. I couldn't find Macedonia, but I couldn't even find North Macedonia. So there we go. Never been there before. Any player, 14 thumbs up. Let's hope we bring back some talent in February. Right, time for the second game of today's episode. It's the Papa John Trophy, the EFL Trophy. We are at the University of Bolton Stadium and we are hosting Gillingham. Uh, pretty much back to full fitness, full first team lineup. Jones is the number one for me at the moment. Uh, Menendez and Lizarazzo hold their spots. Let's hope they can run out the game. But uh, we definitely miss the likes of Ann and Robin Schultz uh, and probably Sturm, to be fair. Bergman, for sure. A yo-yo at CDM. Let's get into this game. Um, we're out of the FA Cup, so a trophy comp here. Maybe we can continue our run. Let's do it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, a night fixture here. Bolton hosting Gillingham. Who, uh, what, League One, maybe? Uh, another tough little fixture here, but uh, we've got a big team out on the park. A real test to see how we can cope against bigger teams. Oh, DeVolf, that's a big challenge. Lays it off here. And and all. Slips one out the back door, has Evans in the box. Rodri Evans, good block, will get a corner. Oh, DeVolf got a rough touch on that one, and oh, off the sidebar. And Jones gets a flick on it, and somehow we survive. Andonov, a yo yo. Andonov again. Get running, Evans. Here is Evans. Lays it inside, a yo yo. Get a touch here. Evans inside, Schultz, it's Maxi Sturm here out wide, plays it through the back and not sure who that was intended for. Good from DeVolf, there's Miyoyo. oh that's a poor ball, Menendez will have to clean it up and he does, Lizarazzo finds Miyoyo. flicks it forward, and and off to Schultz, lays one through, here is Leonard, he needs to get on it quickly, come on boys, pounce. And and off, fires one off. Evans inside has Schultz. He'll lay this one through. Isaac Leonard in on goal. Isaac Leonard. Oh, he's worked the goalkeeper. A clear down. Good from Lizarazzo. Sturm. Schultz. And and off. Lovely ball. Johan Schultz. Let's go. One no Bolton. Schultz with another goal. 43 goals for the season. And and off with another assist. These two are like peanut butter and jam in a sandwich. Look at this, Schultz to Andonov lets him run. And it's a good slick finish there from Johan Schultz. 1-0 Bolton Wanderers. Good finish. Solid from Bergman. Menendez. The Wolf. The Yo-Yo. There's Leonard. Schultz. Andonov. Oh, it's beautiful football. Isaac Leonard! Oh, good save. And there is the halftime whistle. It is 1 0 to Bolton. Slips it out wide. There is Maxi Sturm. To the box, cuts it back. Isaac Leonard! 2 0 Bolton. Sturm with the vision. Isaac Leonard with his eighth goal of the season, starting to chip in and help out from the midfield. And 2 0 Bolton Wanderers. That's some exquisite football. Keeper can't believe it. It's been done and dusted. Sweatier than a gypsy with a mortgage, this one. Straight across goal. And Leonard slams it home. It's 2-0. Oh, DeVolf is reading the play. In and not finds Evans. He can flick this one through. Isaac Leonard in on goal. Isaac Leonard, that one's blocked. Evans tries to get in again. He's, uh... Right, Demi Lou Gruber for Sturm. And off and Leonard. 2-0 up. 15 minutes to go. As well, and flicks it on. Evans will punch back inside. Has Al Low. Oh, Al Low. Dangerous! Dangerous! 3 0 Bolton Wanderers. Al Low with a little bit of class. And Bolton Wanderers will take this one and move through to the next round. It's 3 0. Brilliant move from Low. Just took his man on, and it's a class finish. 3 0. Oh, DeVolf again. The yo yo slips this one out. Evans makes the push forward. Johan Schultz can't get motoring. Gruber. Schultz. Waits for the run. Gets it here from Al Lu. Let's go, Al Lu. 4 0 Bolton Wanderers. Al 
goal low, what, 25 goals for the season, I think. And it's a wonderful finish. Maybe he will move back into the midfield at some stage in his career, but uh, playing this attacking centre mid role, he is uh, <laughs> doing that job perfectly. 4 0 Bolton. And there is the full time whistle. 4 0 Bolton. We go through to the next round. 15 shots to 3. Destroyed and another 9.3. Final game of today's episode, we take on Accrington Stanley at the Crown Ground. They're sitting 21st. They're playing five at the back. We're going in with a fairly strong lineup here. Rotenberg in at the CDM roll. Give me Yo-Yo a chop out. Um, Jones between the sticks. Let's look for a victory. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Taking on 21st place, Accrington Stanley. They're probably going to uh, try and defend for their lives, you'd feel, with five at the back. But we need to break through. We need three points. That's a good ball. Jones called into action. Menendez should clear this one. It's for Andenov, but that one's picked off. The boys have started off slowly to Wolf. Good clearance. Sturm. Leonard. Andenov. Now White. Here's the counter-attack. It's Evans. Pushes his way forward. Lays it in. Andenov. And he's set up this time. Decides to go to Maxi Sturm. Lays it forward. Schultz picked out. Well, Accrington Stanley having a red-hot crack and they've got themselves a free kick here, but Menendez gets a pretty easy clearance. Vince can't control it, though. Five at the back. They've got a lot of numbers there for when that ball does come out. Oh, Rottenberg gets the touch, tries to get Schultz involved, but it's picked out again. So many bodies holding up this defensive line. They're trying to be a counter-attacking squad. And gets through Lazaro. Deary me, deary me, boys. Accrington Stanley takes the lead and it's 1 0. Just little chips over the top. And uh, they find a way through our defense. Knew that would be a counter attacking side. It'll be tough to break down at the back. I don't know if they're playing football like this, they shouldn't be sitting so far down the table. That is wonderful vision. 1 0. From Rottenberg. Schultz. And and off. Gets this ball through. Johan Schultz takes it on. Johan Schultz, great save from Saban. And and off. Gets one down the line. Evans is going to have to work hard. That's well, Evans. Beats it inside. Schultz. Set something up here. Johan Schultz. Oh! Bergman cuts it off. And and off again. A lot of touches. Drives his way forward. Oh, that is vision. He's got Schultz. Into the box, Johan Schultz. Oh, he is going so close. Not really good save there from Jones and Quinton Stanley having a red hot crack. They've got their tails up at 1 0. Oh, for fuck's sake! Didn't even press a fucking button. It's just fallen over, ref. Penalty for Accrington Stanley. He's fucking nailed it. 2 0 before half time. And Bolton need to get back on it. And there is the half time whistle. 2 0 to Accrington Stanley. Schultz. Back for Andenov. Knows he can set something up here. Just tries to find a way through. There's so many bodies. Rottenberg. Schultz. Gonna have to create some magic. Works his way into the box, tries to cut back, and there's just so many bodies. So many bodies. It's a fucking mosh pit. Oh, big challenge. Nothing. No fucking free kick whatsoever. It's time to press. We need to get back into this game. Right, two changes. Al Lewin for Leonard. We're getting attacking. Farkas in for Evans on the wing. Al Lou. There's a ball. Rotenberg. You've got to run, son. Rottenberg into the box. We'll have to cut back. Al Lu, vision, Sturm, let's go! Al Lu immediately has an impact. 2 1, Maxi Sturm with the finish. His fifth goal of the season. Bolton in with a sniff. Master stroke change there from Thor Gunnison. Brings in Al Lu, puts Rottenberg through, gets the ball back. Quick touch, Maxi Sturm back. Let's go. 2-1 from Lizarraza. 
Denzel Look. Needs it out here. Maxi Sturm drives his way forward. Needs runners in the box. Get in there, boys. Maxi Sturm fires it in. Oh, my days. On our final change, Gruber's checking in for Rotenberg in the CDM role. We're going to push forward. We're having a crack. Wolf finds out low. He's got that vision again. Maxi Sturm has to hold it up. Lays it off now. There's a Razo. Lays it back. El Lu lays it off. For... Oh, good save. Well, Bolton right in this now. There's the corner. And an off. Schultz. And then this was there. It's a Razo. Plays forward. Here's Maxi Sturm. Lays it inside. El Lu gets the touch. El Lu. No power. Mendez gets up, Gruber, Bergman, Schultz, lays it through, Al Lu, let's go, let's fucking go, 2-2, Two -two. Al Lu does it again, we're back in this game with 7 minutes to go, Al Lu has turned this game on its head, let's fucking go boys, brilliant football, Bergman getting involved and getting forward. Schultz, lovely vision. And Al Lowe slaps it. Let's go. Oh, DeVolf does well. Here's Al Lowe again. Gets the vision out wide. Sturm's not going to get there. Yes, he is. Maxi Sturm. He'll look back inside. He has Al Lowe. Oh, fuck me, Lowe. That's woeful. Well, I think that's the whistle. 2-2, two, two, it's a draw. Good fight back. Well, Al Lu comes on and changes the game, but couldn't get the finish there at the end. An 8.9, it's a draw. Right, SV Meppen have expressed an interest in signing Zelinski for £610,000. Let's see if we can get a deal done. Right, the deal has gone through. They're prepared to pay only six hundred and ten. dollars We are going to accept this. Let's see if they can agree terms. Right, FC Cartagena have got an offer in for Sebastian Vizanga for £760,000. Let's have a look at that offer and uh, see if we can get a deal done. Right, and two players have been sold. Vizanga has moved on. Thank you for your services. Uh, he did a very good job for us in Season 1, but just falling behind uh, once we sign the new right back. And Zelensky is also being moved on to SV Meppen. We will put them on the short list to monitor their progress over time. But uh, it means that we can bring in some youth academy talent. Right, so obviously we do need a goalkeeper to come in to the reins now. Uh, we will keep Jones uh, as the number one, but Alfie Hull won't be too far away. Let's get him signed up and promoted to the senior team. Now we do need a right back coming through, and the pick of the crop would be Duke Knight, but he is only 15 years of age. If we look at uh, Mason Scott, 76 to 90, uh, not really got the speed that we need there, uh, and neither does Nikolov. It's an interesting one, a higher rating there for Nikolov, and he's only 16, but uh, a higher potential possibly here for uh, Mason Scott, the, the uh, American right back. Now, defensive awareness 46, defensive awareness is 54 here for Petko Nikolov. Um, so I am actually gonna bring in the Bulgarian uh, as a placeholder, probably until Duke Knight is ready. Um, his defensive awareness needs a bit of work, but he's only 15, so that is fine. Let's get Petko Nikolov in it to the first team as a backup right back. Right, so Alfie Hull has signed his contract and they've uh, given him an important team role. So he will need to take over as the number one eventually because uh, the way the roles work, the uh, the more important players or uh, crucial players do need to be playing the majority of the game. So uh, we need to get him some uh, some sharpness. It's on 50, so a few minutes here and there. And uh, you would assume that he would start growing a little bit quicker with a bit of uh, happiness to him. And uh, well, Alex Jones and Hull will fight it out there. Uh, and then we have signed ourselves a right back in Petko Nikolov. Uh, already up two to a 56. Uh, just in as a prospect, so that's handy. It means he doesn't need to play as many minutes. Just keep an eye on that because, you know, you've got to keep your players happy. Uh, Lizarazzo here not happy with his contract, so maybe something that we do need to look at um, moving forward because you've got to keep them happy if you want them growing. There we go. Two signings. Alfie Hull, the old helmet head, and... Uh, Petko Nikolov, the Bulgarian, can play right back and left back. That could be handy. Uh, what's he got going on here? Um, just needs a bit of pace, but we are working on that once he uh, gets a little bit happier. 
that will start increasing. So some good replacements there. We've made a bit of cash. We've signed some more youth talent. We roll on. Right, so that victory in the uh, the Papa John's Trophy. Uh, what is this? The, the I don't even know what this is. This the new? I can't I can't even think. But we are through to the quarterfinals, and we've uh, we've got Blackpool coming up in the next round. And we're obviously out of the FA Cup and the Carabao Cup as well. So, uh, you know, a little bit to concentrate on there with that Papa John's Trophy. Maybe we can take that one out this season through to the quarterfinals. Bolton sit top of League Two. A draw there against Accrington Stanley only gives us a five-point buffer. But we've got a game in hand on Lake Norian and Doncaster. Two games in hand on Mansfield Town. So really shaping up nicely. And uh, we do have Harrogate in the next episode. They currently sit in eighth position. Uh, we also take on Port Vale in sixth. So... Um, some good tests there, and then Doncaster, who obviously beat us earlier in the season. Um, so things shaping up nicely here for Bolton Wanderers, and we'll see you in the next episode. I'm Sparring DK, it's 5 o'clock somewhere, and you have a good one. The Sparring DK channel now has Patreon, and if you feel like just going that little extra step to help uh, you know, the channel grow, you can go across to the website, pledge your allegiance to myself, and uh, for $1 a month, you're basically putting it in a jar and allowing for us to go and buy some more beers and record some more beer drinking episodes. Thank you very much to the current lads that have gone ahead and supported the channel. Absolutely tremendous to see anybody willing just to give that $1 a month at this stage. I cannot thank you from the bottom of my heart. You you really will make a difference in the future. So jump across there if you're that way inclined to the Patreon channel. Sign up today and we'll see if we can get some extra beer drinking episodes for you at home. Now, if you are looking for some more content, we've got a couple of videos. One here, one here. And if you want to subscribe, there's a button right there. So go ahead, subscribe, and you'll be notified when the video...